What's up SaaS Masters, my name is George and today I want to show you Simply Docs. This one is a really great deal that lets you fill in documents. Now you can fill in documents via a form that you build in Simply Docs or you can use it via API that just brings information from anywhere that you want, right? Just using Zapier or Public Connect, something like that. Plus, it lets you also use it for proposals. So you got like two ways of using this one and I'll show you those in a bit. Now, there's a great deal going on right now. It's only $69 and that's a lifetime deal. That means you pay once and you can use it forever. Plus, the limits are fantastic. There's actually no limitations. You get everything. You get unlimited templates, unlimited documents, unlimited API calls, I mean, just everything unlimited. So it's a great deal. Now, I have to say this out there. There are some bugs in this SaaS, so you have to be aware of that. They are in a developing stage. So if you buy this deal now, you will encounter some bugs. So I just want to say that out there, okay? So let's jump over to my desktop and check out Simply Docs right now. All right, guys, this is the deal that I was talking about, and it's only $69 for a lifetime deal. And if you guys would like to support me and find my videos helpful, please consider using that link in the description. Let me show you the plan really quickly. And like I said before, there's actually no limitations. You can probably see everything here. It's like unlimited, unlimited, and just unmetered APIs, unlimited forms, documents, unlimited revisions and storage. And there's no limitations on this. And I think that's a really great deal. Now let's jump over to Simply Docs and check it out. So this is my main dashboard and you're going to see a basic analytics here, plus the, the proposals that you've created at workflow submissions. You can create workflows on this. Now the first thing I recommend when you jump into Simply Docs is first go into configuration and create your signatures. So right here you create your own e-signatures that you can just draw right here. You can upload your own signature, you can name your signature, or you can view your signatures that you already created here. Plus, you can select your custom storage. Um, there, there's unlimited there, so I wouldn't recommend using AWS. But if you want to use that one, just configure it to this one, custom AWS, just in case you guys want to use that. All right. So first thing that we're going to do is go into doc templates. We're going to create a doc template right here. And they have three options available, but right now they're like in developing stage for the PDF and image. Now I got to test PDF, but I can't show you right now because that's not working properly yet. Like I said before, there are some bugs there. So right now we can work in the editor. PDF means that we can upload the PDF and we can select where those spaces are going to fill out when we select them. In this case, we're going to call this one video, video, just say video, all right? And we are going to edit our own document to create those fields that we are later going to use via form or via API. So one of the things that I also encountered on bugs is that first create your template variables before you fill out this over here. And I'll just show you why. If I say name right here and I add a variable because I want to add a variable to fill in automatically the name. So I'll just say name right here. And the type of this one will be a text. All right, let me submit that. I can create more variables here, but just let me show you really quickly. I'll submit it. All right, that's submitted and it refreshed. So that's something that they need to fix. So I recommend first adding your variables right here. Another one, I'll just say it's the date and I'll just put it right here, date, and I'll submit that one. Let's wait for the submit, submit it. All right, so we got those two variables. So now I can write up my document. I can copy paste a document I already have. I have all these available things that I can use to build it. I can even draw, I can use some tables, I can rows, columns, and all that good stuff. In this case, I'll just keep it really simple because I want you to get the idea of what you could do with Simply Docs. So let's just say this is a proposal name. I will rent this apartment for uh, my apartment and my name is all right, we'll add that variable. So I'm clicking variable and I'll add there. This will be signed on and I'll add a date, okay? You can make this really complex. You can add a whole document there. Like I said before, just copy and paste something that you have. You can keep it simple. All right, so I'm gonna submit that and I already created a template. So I can use that template later on for my form or for my API calls, okay? So now I would recommend going to the form builder. Let's go into forms. I'm going to create a brand new form and this form will be, I'll just say for video, right? So I'm going to use it for that. I'm going to click next. Wait for that to load. Okay. So now we have a form builder right here and we have the type of fields that we can add over here. In this case, um, since I'm going to use, I'm going to use a text field. So in this case, I'm going to name it 
this text field will be the name one. I can add the help text, placeholders, as you would like a form builder, right? And the next one will be a date field right here. Again, we have the date field, we'll just keep it like that. You can edit all of that. You're gonna even add some conditional logics there, page one, page two. Um, form attributes, if you wanna add the date format. So for example, in my country, we use date, month, and year, so that's okay. Uh, but United States, use they use month, date, and year, so you can switch that around. And I'll submit this one. Like I said, you can make it more complex if you like, or just keep it simple like I am, all right? Okay, so this is the form I just created. It's for video. I got it Earl that we can visit and check it out. We'll see that in a bit. We can edit right here again. We have rules that we can add for conditional logic and we have options available. These are really important. So you got the post submission information. So what's it gonna say when they, they fill it out? It's gonna say form submitted successfully. You could change that. Failure message, redirect users after five seconds. So for example, once they fill that out, they'll go to a page or something if you like, right? Just enable or disable. The email notification, how is it gonna be sent out? A secure form, if you wanna protect the bot form, you can add that. Allow access using via public URL or not. Make it password protected. We can embed this code and I would really, really recommend that you go this route because the form doesn't really look that nice and you're gonna see it right now. But you can embed this on your site, make it look really nice and fancy and you're gonna go. The API instructions. So for example, I have public connect and what I can do is I can enable the API and bring in data from anywhere that I want. So that's pretty cool that I can bring in data from, I don't know, someone who filled out a form, someone who is a new user on WordPress and just this will create it automatically in case I need it, right? And we have the template mapping. Remember we created a template before, so we can map it now. That's what I'm gonna do. So this is the template I'm gonna select, which is the video one. That's gonna load and the template, it knows it has two variables. So I'm gonna use the form field, obviously, the name one, and the one I use here, the date field, all right? And you can allow users to download the generate, generate document once it's done. We'll enable that, and they'll be able to download it via P in a PDF format or MS Word. We'll keep it Word, oh, PDF, sorry. And we're gonna map it, okay? Wait for that to load. So that is mapped. Let's close this, and that should be ready to go. So that's mapped to my template. So now I can grab this link and I'm gonna open an incognito tab. That means I'm not a logged in user. I'm just sending out this link and someone open it, right? We can do it this way. So uh, open incognito window, right? So that's gonna open. By the way, they've said they're going to add custom domains. So that means we don't have to view the Simply Docs uh, link. Okay, so this is the, the the form that we created right now. And like I said before, it's not that fancy. Sure, we can tweak it a bit, but we can do that even better if we embed it in the side. It'll look much nicer. Okay, so the name. This one will be, I'll be sending it out to John. And the date will be, I don't know, one week from now. Let's submit this form. Are we sure? Okay, let's submit that. And there we go, the form is submitted successfully. We can download this right now. Let me show you how that looks. And you're gonna see that it replaced my variables with this one. I'm gonna save it and I'm going to open it. All right, so remember what we wrote on the template? Remember, I will write this department and my name is John. So the field that I used in the form, it replaced it there. Now, this looks pretty simple. I mean, it, it doesn't even, it's not attractive. But imagine having that really nice form, like a big form, a rental form, for example, and having everything just placed automatically, that will save you a lot of time. And the date that we selected, that's also in that variable. Now, a really good use case that I would give this is, for example, I don't know, if you're in politics, you can have someone sign up a form where they want to become a member and you have the whole thing is just gonna fill out the fields every single time that someone fills out the form. So that saves you a lot of time. Instead of going into each single place in like WordPress, something like that, just, no, well not WordPress, Word, Microsoft Word, and going there and just filling out everything by clicking on the places, this will save you a ton of time just doing it like that. Okay, so let's get rid of this incognito window. We're back to our dashboard. And other things that you can do is the proposals. The things that I find more interesting is that and proposals. So right here, we can create a brand new proposal. In this case, we're gonna call this uh, test two, all right? And in proposals, we can again, create all this information that we need right here. 
you need variables, all that good stuff. Um, there's a button that's sent at the email. You can check that out. And I'll just say, for example, I'll make it more simple. See proposal, right? And I'll submit this. And it basically, it created like a template for me. After this, I'm going to do the, the send out. Okay. In this case right now, it's at draft and we can dispatch it, right? See, so who's going to be the recipient name? I'll just say it's, it's John and his email address will be, I'll use my alternative email and this will um, get the latest proposal. I don't know. And blah, 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 blah. All right. Can we include the e signature? Yes. These e signatures are the ones that I've created before, right? Remember I told you go, go into configuration and you can add those there. So these are the e signatures that I've, I've added and I can select it there. And so we can also set a proposal, but delete date. So that means we can have it like expire. Let's submit it. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my Gmail and check it out. So now it's dispatched, but it's not signed. You can see how a signed document will look like. Okay. We can go into the link or send this link to the messenger, to WhatsApp, whatever, because it'll make it much easier. Plus they get the email just in case whatever is faster for you. Okay. Let me open up my Gmail so we can check out that. All right. This is the email that I've received. And like I said before, right now it says simply docs. This thing will be branded later on that we can change that. And remember I put C proposal. That's the button. This is the information that I put and let's go click on C proposal. Oh, I should open that in incognito to make it this, make it more interesting. Okay. Incognito mode. That way is that a random person just received it. And this is the proposal that they're getting. All right. So this is just what I wrote blah, random text. Um, I can accept the terms. I can sign it also, or I can type it if I want. So in this case, I'll just sign it that way. We can clear it. We can type our name and we can accept it or reject it. Remember, this doesn't look fancy, but that could be a really nice looking proposal. Okay. So that's accepted and we can download as a PDF now. So once we have that, we can view it. See how it added my name over here. That's because I added my e-signature e with autom automatically. Okay. So let me, oh, we can download it also if we want. Let me just do that. It's better to show you in the video. All right. Let me save that. Let's open it. And the user gets a PDF of the document and the signatures as you would right there. And now it has the name there in that variable that we selected. Okay. Let's close that. Let's go back into my simply docs. Let me refresh this and you're going to see now that it should be signed. All right, there we go. Now it's signed. We can view it here and we can download it as the person who sent it out. Right? So that's a proposal. So it's pretty cool that that's the main priority of simply docs using the templates and using the proposals uh, for me, the, the templates with the form builder is what what I like, right? That's what I find interesting, but you can also use more interesting things. Like for example, the contacts, we can add our contacts here. We can create groups of contacts to create workflows. So for example, we can add contacts manually, just one by one, or we can upload via CSV and it gives you the instructions right here and you submit it. And once you have your contacts and groups created over here, create groups via the contacts, you can create your own internal workflows. So for example, workflows are right here. Workflows are meant for conditional logic. Let me show you really quickly. I'm going to leave a link in the description where the founder made a video and it looks really good. And it basically explains really well what you have to do, right? So you got the workflow name, you got the step, what's it going to do? Who is going to, going to be the review type? Is it going to be a specific contact or is it going to be the group of contacts that you selected? So for example, if I select con the, the group review condition, is it going to be anyone or everyone? So in this case, everyone in that group and so on and so forth. And you can add a step and remove steps as you'd like to create a workflow. That's pretty interesting if you want to use it. Basically, that is the most important part of Simply Docs. And like I said before, having that deal with no limitations is actually a good deal, right? So $69. And like I said before, I showed you a few of the bugs that I found, but those will be ironed out and it will be working great. I have faith on the guy because I don't know, it's already good, deals great, works fine. And that's basically it. If you don't want to go through a process of a SaaS lifetime deal that's in the face of fixing out bugs, then you should skip this one. If you're looking for something solid that works right now because your business needs it, 
then this is not for you right now unless you want to buy it for future in this case I got it because I might need this I don't need it now so I'm willing to wait for the bugs to be ironed out well, there you go, guys. That is the deal that's going on right now. It's $69, and like I said before, if you guys would like to support me, please consider using that link in the description. It helps me out buying these deals for you guys and make videos and taking the time to make videos for you guys. Well, thank you for watching. My name's George. This is SASMaster, and I'll see you guys later.